So I have a French Bulldog coming in just a couple of hours. And as you can imagine, I'm absolutely buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I've always grown up with dogs. I had a dog uh, back in Barbados, which was my first dog, which is where I'm from, uh, and where I lived for 10 years. And I had like a little mixed breed kind of muck, but it was like a family dog, right? That was called Zach. We loved that dog very much. Uh, unfortunately, he got hit by a car. So then to make up for it, my parents bought another set of family dogs, which were two Jack Russells. Uh, and we called those Snoop and Nate Dog. And we loved those dogs very much. But again, very much family dogs. Wasn't really my own personal responsibility. And I didn't really do much either. I didn't really look after the dog that much. I just kind of played with it here and there and then went about my business, went to school, didn't have to worry about picking up the dog shit and stuff like that. Mainly because we had a huge garden. We had a huge garden and it would just go right to the back of the garden, do its business and no one went down there. That was just the, that was the shit zone. You didn't go down there. That was for the dog to do his business. Um, and then, you know, we moved back to England. So I gave one of those dogs to the neighbor. We gave another one to uh, a family friend. So this is gonna be my first dog, really. First dog. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. I've kind of got everything prepared. Let me show you what I got. So we've got the pee pads here, of course. Pee pads one and two. Got the cage, got the cage set up. It comes with a divider uh, up here. This is, this is also for boundaries as well. There's like a divider at the top and then this part here is for boundaries. So, because what I might do is basically block off the kitchen so you can't go in the kitchen, but you know, then again, you could probably get in underneath the couch, but we'll see, because he's really, really tiny, such a small dog. And then, yeah, obviously got the cage. I'm probably gonna partition this a little bit. Um, we'll see, I've got some toys in the other room too. Dog bowl and uh, just in the fridge. Because whenever I do something, yeah, I just, I go full in and I get carried away. I, I get carried away. That's, that's just how I am. It's not good, but uh, you know, I am who I am. So what I did was for some strange reason, I decided to buy an army and I mean an absolute army of puppy food. Way too much. I've got puppy food probably for at least three months, at least three months. Um, so yeah, that was a bit silly, but uh, anyway, now we're just, waiting patiently for the puppy to arrive. Toys, obviously for, for when he arrives, just pick these up off Amazon. Um, yeah, just regular, regular chew toys, chew, chew toys? Regular chew toys. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see different, different kind of varieties, ropes and yeah, little cuddly animals and stuff. I think this one makes a squeaky noise, I think. There we go. So yeah, got some toys too. Clean eye round pads. So saw a video on YouTube of people saying, make sure you get some kind of a, you know, a good brand, organic kind of cleaning pads for their eyes. Cause you know, they get a lot of shit around the eyes, especially Frenchies. So got some of these as well. Introducing. Chance the Frenchie. <laughs> Look how tiny he is. Oh my God. Want everybody see your face? Come on. Look at the size of this dog. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> You want to play, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, there he goes.
you got there? What you got there? Give it to me. Yeah. It's my toy. It's my toy. One day you're going to be older, and this is going to be a lot harder for me to pull. A lot harder. You, you really want that toy, don't you? So he is not scared in the slightest. He's like adapting really well to the new place. He's very playful. When I first picked him up, he was shivering a little bit, but you know, as you can see, he's just like acclimatizing himself, getting used to the new location, the new place, this place that he's gonna call home from now. And uh, he's doing really well. Like I thought he would be more shy, more, you know, like missing his family or just a bit more insular, but He's got that personality. He's got that personality and that's what you want. <laughs> Yo, look at what it does with his uh, ass. It keeps lifting his bum up off the ground. <laughs> uh.